Wisdom from Jarrell Big Baby Miller, heavyweight contender and Brooklyn resident, sitting to my right here at the Aviator Complex. Left hook to the body from Potapov as Big Baby called for. Mello being ground down a little bit with extra pressure in round two from Potapov. Right, left hook to the body. Jab from Mello. Not heavy duty. Nah, it's just really more of like a push in your face, stay away from me kind of jab. It's not really a, a jab with authority on it at all. Head snap back by, for Mello. Scoring blows from Potapov. Mello missing with a right hand. Is fairly active in this round. Knows he has to be or he's going to get eaten up a little bit by Potapov. Looking to lead with the right hand is Mello. Doubling up on the left. Caught in a corner. Fights his way out. And a clinch up. <laughs> to the end of the round. In Brooklyn at the Aviator. Round, round two of ten. Round two of ten or less. Potapov, what do you think he should be hearing in the corner? Uh, go to the body. Cut the ring off. He's making him uh, dictate the movement too much. Cut the ring off. Go to the body. Slow him down. And then... Uh, the head should follow. Round three for your viewing pleasure. About to unfold. My name is Michael Woods. I am working with Jarrell Big Baby Miller. A couple heavyweights of note have come from Brooklyn. You in that same path, sir? Same path. Uh-huh. The baddest man right now on the East Coast is Big Baby Miller. I'm sitting next to the baddest man on the East Coast right bad now. Bad man, bad man. No. Yeah, I saw the power and evidence in your last fight on Showbox. Yeah. Left people wanting more, and that's the way you do it. You yeah, take yeah, yeah. them out, you give the fans what they want. Subtlety is great. The sweet science, great. Skills pay the bills, but knockouts pay more. Pay more. It. Speaking of Potapov, can he stop Melo, a survivor type from Mexico? Remains to be seen. Scheduled for 10 or less. These are junior feathers. Promoter Dimitri Salida said, listen, I can see Potapov being matched up with high-end guys at uh, 118. Right now. He believes in this kid. And uh, yeah, absolutely to me, he's world class. Yes. Mello is a uh, journeyman type. It's a good guy to get some rounds in. Yeah, that's uh, right. You see Mello's not really putting uh, punches and combinations together to try to get Potapov hurt. And uh, Potapov doesn't really respect Mello's power either. He's just coming forward and uh, trying to set him up for a shot. Like I said, I think Potapov just go to the body. Still early in the fight, and uh, he start uh, banking in on the body shots, and then uh, Melo should slow down. But right now, he's following Melo around just a little too much. Right. I confess, when we say Potapov, I think of the word porta potty. <laughs> uh, that will not be his nickname. And but anyways, either here nor there, he's winning the round. Melo being busy here, not just in turtle shell defense. He's Trying to offer offense. Giving a decent account of himself. Looking to work from underneath with a right upper cut. Patient predatory style of the Russians and the Eastern Euros. They grind you down. You pretty much know they're always going to be in great shape. Pretty, great work ethic. Pretty strong. Yeah. But they don't take body shots very well. Interesting. Okay. Yes, that is that is a known fact that we are. Uh, That's the book on them. Yes, and uh, when you're fighting uh, a lot of Europeans, especially the Russians, Kazakhstan, they don't take body shots well for some reason. 
Hmm. And I don't have a theory as to why, do you? I mean, do they not do as many setups? What uh, is it, man? I just don't think they, I mean, I think they have, a lot of Europeans do have extensive amateur background. Mm -hmm. And in the amateurs, they don't really count the body shots like they used to. And it's like, okay, okay. why go to the body is not really counting it. You know? Okay, so, so they haven't had the practice in absorbing yes, them yes. as much as and America's and the, gyms do? In the European style, they don't really sit on their, their body punches as, as how a lot of American guys do. Okay. A little more finesse to it. But they definitely do have some strong right hands. <laughs> going with Vladimir Kishko I've uh, seen the first hand. When, when did you do that, sir? Oh, that's a, I was seven More than once? Sparring. Yeah, seven times with Vladimir. Once seven a, times you sparred with him? Wow. And man. then uh, one time with Vitaly. And, uh, yeah, you know, to my note, uh, I wobbled with Vladimir twice he kicked, which is pretty funny. <laughs> now, from the first to the last time that you sparred with him, yeah. Did you notice improvement yourself and you oh, were yeah, better no, able no, to handle it? I mean, yeah. after the first camp, I've, I noticed improvement. Right. Uh, but I think it's all, it's all, like, much is always more mental than physical sometimes. Like, you know, can you hang in there with this guy? Or, right. And then my whole thing is, like, I know I can hang in there. I want to hurt him, you know? And right. once I see I can do that, I know what I, the sky's the limits after that. Did you buzz him? Oh, yeah, twice. Yeah, definitely did. Nice. Yeah, so it felt good. Oh, yeah. It was a 20 ounce glove. Wow. They used 20 in sparring? Use 20, yeah. 20? Yeah. But I've seen Vladimir put down, woo-wee, a bunch of sparring partners. With 20 ounce gloves? With 20 ounce gloves. Okay. Jabs sound like I mean, a those aren't shot. those aren't pillows, but I mean, those are, you know, uh, kind of big. Those are those are big gloves. Yeah, wow. but he's, okay. a little, he's a little sneaky guy, too. You know, he uh -huh. wears these puncher gloves. I forgot what they're called, though. Okay. Kind of big in uh, Germany, but. Uh, okay. They're definitely some compact 20s. They ain't no. Compact 20s. Yeah, they're not like puffy, everlast 20s. Right. Or, or, or. Pillow soft 20s. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got some good intel from Jamel, Jarrell Big Baby Miller here. We are ringside for Nikolai Potapov Pedro Melo fight. So far, it's all Potapov. He's getting his rounds in. Yeah, but Potapov wants to be recognized as one of those guys that's going up the ranks. I think you need to put a little more pressure on this guy, Melo. Yeah, you, you see, Melo's really, really not really doing anything, really, you know, bring the judges over. He's just kind of surviving. I think Potapov should put the pressure on, like I said, go to the body and try to get this guy out of there. Yeah. And you want a YouTube clip, man. You want a YouTube clip finish. Well, it's all about the highlights. Show them, man. Boil down, show me five minutes of furious action and a finish. And it's like, oh, okay, I want to see that guy again. I wonder if they have a European, like, world star hip-hop. You know, where all the highlights go, like all the urban guys go to see. If they uh, don't, maybe you can invent it and make a lot of money. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, man. Hey, if anyone is trying to steal that and it ain't out there, this guy's a pro fighter, so well, don't do it. Don't it. think about it. it. Yeah. A stiff right hand from Potapov. And Mello answering. Not as strong. Velocity not there with Potapov. Willingness is there. Aiming to the body is Mello. Still seems to have ample stamina. Still moving. Analyst Jarrell Miller has called for more body work from Potapov. I don't think that's a bad idea. Slow that uh, Mexican down a little bit there. Well, he hit him with a good left foot. Potapov had a good left foot. But he didn't follow up any shots either. Potapov said in the last Ooh, several fights nice in a right, right hand. Body, body, body. Maybe the stiffest, cleanest that he's landed so far. He said he's been working on different things technically, trying different things in the last yeah, several fights, so he's still finding his style. Yeah. He definitely heard uh, Melo twice in this round, but just didn't follow up any shots after. Dip left and threw a left hand there. Doesn't forget to move his head. Doesn't forget to land that right hand, ticking down to the end of the round, Potapov round. Assessing the two men in the corner, Mello. Looking for extra dose of oxygen and headed towards round five 
Salinas Gym, the Fight Factory, sponsoring this car. Potapov listening to instruction in the corner and direction. He's got an elder statesman there in the corner, looks like. A lot of accumulated knowledge. See if he brings anything different to the table here or same level of uh, pressure on the Mexican in round five. I do like his movement of the torso and the head. Smart defender is Potapov to me. Because, yeah, some guys down at 118 can crack. Hand speed twice that of Melo, so he will get tested as he moves up the ranks. Right hand landing. Bending at the knees, dipping, make himself a difficult target. Just winning rounds, Jarrell Miller. Yeah, he's definitely winning the rounds. But uh, oh, nice body shot, nice right hand. You heard that cracker jack sound? He threw one right hand to the body. Melo definitely felt it. <laughs> Russian native against a Mexican here in Brooklyn. United Nations repping out of Dimitri Salida's show. People from all over the world come and fight for Salida. You could fight, doors open to you. Left hand from Melo trying to sneak it in to the Potapov body. And he continues to advance. Walk Melo down. I do wonder if we're going to see another gear, some variation from Popov, or if it's just going to be the same level of power, of uh, pressure. Do that to um, Gene or Dimitri from the mouth. Really? Yeah. Potapov simply winning rounds. Mello hanging in there, being busy enough to uh, keep the man at bay at times, portions of rounds. Been all boat above to this point. The stay away from me jab from Mello is what Miller, our analyst, called it. Potapov landed a stiff one. Mello blinked twice. And ticking down to another end of round, Potapov round. Ace Analyst, heavyweight contender, your prescription for what you would want to see from Potapov in this round, please. Uh, same thing. Just try to go to the body. I mean, he threw two right hands to the body last round. Uh, Melo definitely react. His body language changed. So I'd go back to the body, man. The fight is still early. He's uh, the fifth round. I think he should go back down to the body and uh, take it from there. More you know, body work, says Jarrell Miller. More body work called for. Ooh, nice right hand. Head work, work there. Right hand landed clean. Maybe a step up round for Potapov. 
Oh, nice left hook hurt Mello. And Mello also landed a left hand there, but Potapovs was harder. <coughs> the Mexican with a keep away from me jab. Potapov not daunted. Can't keep him off for long. He's right in your face. Body. And backing Mello into a corner. So Potapov need to work to that body right there. Stationary. Land two right hands. Oh. Left hook. Maybe hurt him. Did he get yeah. a thumb so or? He said it was a headbutt, but I don't see the headbutt. No, we saw a left hand land. And he's wincing a little bit more. Body language and oh. facial recognition telling me that Mello is... Losing some steam, Jarrell Miller. Yes, he definitely is. Porter Pyle is definitely doing a better job of cutting the ring over, but he's just not, he's not putting the punches together the right way when he gets him in the corner. Just laying one good shot, and he lets him off the hook. Laying one good shot, lets him off the hook. Nice three jabs in a row. My little eight. Punches and bunches are called for from our analyst, Jarrell Miller, from Potapov, the Russian. Certainly winning, hurting Mello a little bit at times. Nothing viciously thunderous, but there is an accumulation here, and we do sense that Mello is losing some steam. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't like what I see from Potapov. I mean, when he goes, especially when you go up the ladder, experienced fighters and got like that. He had Mello right in the corner, standing right in front of him for about five, six seconds, didn't throw anything, and Mello just walked. Right away from him. Like, got to make him pay. Can't let him walk. Got to make him pay. You trap someone in a corner, man. It's a nice place for you. Bad place for him. He can pay dividends. Right hand from Potapov. He's found a home for that. No knockdowns to this point. <laughs> Taking down to the end of the sixth. This is a 10-rounder. This is building up Potapov for the future when promoter Salida expects him to be stepping up in class. Not too distant future. Wants a 12-round title fight to be on his to-do list. And the beginning of another round. They've looked markedly similar. Potapov has been the one doing the better work. Busier. A little more zest on his punches. Mello is persistent with the jab. Throws a whole bunch of them. Look to land a right hand as Potapov was backing out. And a stiff right hand from Potapov. Spray, spray of sweat off Mello. I think Potapov has something against the body because he just does not want to go to it at all. Anti-body bias. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Seems like a no-brainer. Take some steam off this guy who isn't in your league skill-wise, but showed up in shape. And there, right hand, landed on Mello. He dropped his hands a little bit, sending a signal. I didn't like that. Do it more then. Do it more, Potapov. If you want to maybe get one of them stoppages, 13-0, six stoppages. 
on his ledger. Junior Feathers here. Potapov mostly lands while he's right in front of you. You don't see him American style, maybe getting some more angles, popping to the side, either side. Yeah, he's catching him with something he doesn't see. He's right in front of you. Right in front of him. Yeah. Yeah, but he's he's letting the shots go though. He's not uh over exaggerating the shots. He just quick snaps and they're all landing. No, I, I admit I'm slightly in not nitpicking mode, but you know, this is a guy who is not on his level and so I'm trying to figure out exactly why maybe he hasn't putting as much of a stamp on it as maybe he could. Correct, correct. Yeah. Not a bad outing at all. But if he does want to get to that place where he's fighting champs at 118. Pick it up. Yeah, man. <coughs> Mello from Mexico. Mexico City. He's the aggressor on Potapov, even backing up in that sequence. Ending another round, Potapov doing good work here. This is one more. We are heading towards round eight in Brooklyn. Set for 10 or less. Looks to me like we're going to be going the distance here. Things progress in the same manner. A card promoted by Salita Promotions. Dimitri Salita. Putting this thing together. Start up of another one, Junior Featherweights. Ron Lipton is your referee. Start the proceedings again. Going to be looking for body work from Potapov. Analyst Miller has told us that uh, there's a notable absence of body attack from the Russian. Got an anti-body bias. Oh, maybe he's waiting until round eight to break it out of his uh, suitcase. I don't know. For sure, he is winning rounds. Looking to land a crisp left hook. Mello dodges it. Customary jab. One, two from Mello. Darts with a right hand that lands. Solid work Mello is giving Potapov. At the very least keeps Potapov sharp. Snapping jab from the Russian. Left hook. And the right. <coughs> Using both hands. Left hook. Pretty sharp. Here's a little body work from Potapov. But yes, Big Baby steering you guys right, and he's telling you, Potapov, not a big fan of going to the body. If you're going to watch tape, yeah, probably going to see that. Yeah. You're going to say, hey, listen, there's a whole torso there for you. Use it. Use that canvas, the whole of the canvas. And then a good left hook right hand, but. You're an artist. There's a whole canvas there. Whole artist, yep. Yep. Hands of the paintbrush. That's it. I'm pretty messy with my paintbrush, though. In a good way, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't care what the picture look like. Once the, the paint you, hit the canvas. You want to <laughs> make you want to make the red color red spill, don't you? A little blood. Yeah, a little blood. Yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah. Left hook to the body from Mella. Still in it. 
still in it to survive is the Mexican. Constant movement from him. What's the best way to deal with constant movement? Throw to the body. Throw to the body. Cut the ring off. Yep. Sap that energy. Make those legs feel dead. Make them feel like they double the weight. Ending another round in Brooklyn. So a workmanlike performance from Potapov. Solid every round. Consistent every round. That'll get you wins. Definitely get you wins. But you don't want just wins. You want excitement. You do. You want the fans to be talking you about. You do. Skills pay the bills, but knockouts pay them easier. Don't get paid for overtime. No, man. Another one in which Potapov stays busy, consistent, works hard, perhaps doesn't throw enough to the body. There is consensus here. Mike Woods on the call with Big Baby Miller. We both agree. Show us more body work. It's not nitpicking. It's... Uh, Constructive criticism. Right, Jarrell? Yes, it is. I mean, when it's delivered with proper respect that I know that these are professionals and anyone stepping in there deserves my, my reverence. You're on Twitter a lot. You ever get, like, critiques from fans and you just want to be like, Shit. Shut up. <laughs> Who yeah. are you? You never, you never stepped in no ring. The only ring you stepped in was the ring around your collar, man. Yeah. I mean, do you ever blast back at those people or no? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, what do you say? Uh, Shut up. A little more excruciating than that, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's actually a compliment because they're only you hitting at it. you. They're only hitting at you if you're doing something. If you're not doing nothing, no one cares. Exactly. It's, it's a true. compliment. But that's easy for me to say. You know, when you're actually getting those slings and arrows, it's like, shut up. Potapov. Scoring another 10-9 to nine round in my card. What say you, Jarrell Miller? Same? Same thing. Miller hasn't won a round, has he? Nope. But you do never know with these judges, man. Crowd ooing and awing a little bit. They like power. They like obvious concussive force exerted. Mello looks to have slowed down a little bit, but I said the same thing two rounds ago, mm -hmm. so what do I know, you know? Still throw punches. Yeah, yeah. Just a good test for Potapov. Getting rounds in. Another end of the round here in Brooklyn. Round 10, distance fight. 
The blueprint has been laid down to this point. Kotopov winning rounds. Hasn't sent Melo to the canvas. Hasn't nastily buzzed him that I picked up on. Sweet science on display at the Aviator. Solid mechanics and technique from the Russian. Solid effort and stamina from the Mexican. And we got a main event to come, 48 years young. I'm not gonna say old. Damn, 48 years young, Alicia Ashley against Christina McMahon from Ireland, visiting Brooklyn, looking to spoil the party for Ashley, a Brooklyner. Decent action in round 10. Still something left in the tank for both men. Sharp right hand from Potapov. Potapov looking to put a stamp on this last round. Yes, Jarrell Miller? Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's still head hunting, and uh, a lot of shots are missing. Right. But uh, he's definitely winning the round. He's firing harder. I think he wants a stoppage. Oh, nice look at the cut right hand. He definitely has Melo hurt right now. Yeah, he is hurt on his mind in this last round. Melo, a little worse for the wear. Eating clean hard shots. Blood coming from his nose. Gulping hard for air. Eating left hook. Mello dripping from the nose. Seeing red is Potapov. Mello wants a break, clinches, wipes the blood from his nose, checks it out, says, oh yeah, I gotta make it to the end. Potapov, he's in shark mode. A stoppage would, would be impressive. It's what we've talked about. We want to see that another gear. We want to see body work. He'll definitely be in shape. You can throw that many punches the last round. Yeah. Mello going style. with a low blow of the right hand. Try to slow him down. The referee on the backside there. Oh, I don't think he's going to get it. But a solid round and a right hand from Mello. Maybe one of his best shots. Fine end to an action fight. Junior featherweight. A little more excruciating than that, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's actually a compliment because they're only you hitting at it. you. They're only hitting at you if you're doing something. If you're not doing nothing, no one cares. Exactly. It's, it's a true. compliment. <laughs> but that's easy for me to say. You know, when you're actually getting those slings and arrows, it's like, shut up. Potapov scoring another 10-9 to 9 round in my card. What say you, Jarrell Miller? Same? Same thing. Melo hasn't won a round, has he? Nope. But you do never know with these judges, man. Crowd ooing and aahing a little bit. 
they like power. They like obvious concussive force exerted. Mello looks to have slowed down a little bit, but I said the same thing two rounds ago, mm -hmm. so what do I know, you know? Still throw punches. Yeah, yeah. Just a good test for Potapov. Getting rounds in. Another end of the round here. In Brooklyn. <laughs> round 10. Distance fight. The blueprint has been laid down to this point. Potapov winning rounds. Hasn't sent Mello to the canvas. Hasn't nastily buzzed him that I picked up on. Sweet science on display at the Aviator. Solid mechanics and technique from the Russian. Solid effort and stamina from the Mexican. And we got a main event to come, 48 years young. I'm not gonna say old. Damn, 48 years young, Alicia Ashley against Christina McMahon from Ireland, visiting Brooklyn, looking to spoil the party for Ashley, a Brooklyner. Decent action in round 10. Still something left in the tank for both men. Sharp right hand from Potapov. Potapov looking to put a stamp on this last round. Yes, Jarrell Miller? Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's still head hunting, and uh, a lot of shots are missing. Right. But uh, he's definitely winning the round. He's firing harder. I think he wants a stoppage. Oh, nice left at the cut right hand. He definitely has Mello hurt right now. Yeah, he is hurt on his mind in this last round. Mello, a little worse for the wear. Eating clean hard shots. Blood coming from his nose. Gulping hard for air. Eating left hook. Mello dripping from the nose. Seeing red is Potapov. Mello wants a break, clinches, wipes the blood from his nose, checks it out, says, Oh, yeah, I got to make it to the end. Potapov, he's in shark mode. A stoppage would, would be impressive. It's what we've talked about. We want to see that another gear. We want to see body work. We'll definitely be in shape. You can throw that many punches the last round. Yeah. Mello going him. with a low blow of the right hand. Try to slow him down. The referee on the backside there. Oh, I don't think he's going to get it. But a solid round and a right hand from Mello. Maybe one of his best shots. Fine end to an action fight. Junior featherweight.
scored this bout identically. 100 to 90, all for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Nikolai Polakov. Jarrell Miller, I'm gonna ask you. Give him a grade. Uh, B. B plus. How does he get to A? Uh, cut the little ring off. Be an all-around boxer. Just so headhunt all the time. Uh, catch the body. Uh, be a little more aggressive in uh, middle rounds. And you see the guy doesn't really want to be there. And uh, when you smell blood, go fishing. Go get it. Go for, the, go for the kill. When you smell blood, go fishing. Go fishing. See that shark? That'll be the shark.